everyone. I hope the above video was helpful. In this last section, I wanted to cover some common reasons as to why people fail in CESA and how we can go about rectifying it. I've done some research and these are the most common causes I came up with. Um, a few years ago, one of the most common reasons why people failed was clearly they did not have the intercollegiate fellowship exam. This should not be a problem as I assume most of you will complete it before applying. Lack of sufficient management experience and lack of having a research methodology course is a popular reason right now. Uh, you need to show sufficient evidence of management courses and while attending these courses do put in the syllabus as well and submit them as evidence so they can see that you have done enough management in the NHS. Uh, having poor research output is a reason and now if you have just two or three publications that's fine. Um, do try and give it but do show evidence of attending research courses of being involved in it of doing a journal cup uh, or uh, having sufficient presentations uh, just try and compensate in some way now teaching is another area you need to do those mandatory teach the teacher or train the trainer courses and show practical evidence that you have taught doing an educational supervisor course is actually quite helpful audits has always been a reason where uh, people don't make it and it continues to be a very popular one. They generally like to see audits along uh, the length and breadth of the curriculum. I think what people sometimes tend to do is you tend to try and cluster your audits um, and put them together uh, for everything including teaching, audits, presentations. They like to see it sort of spread along the curriculum as it were. Do not forget the loop closing audits and you do need to submit uh, meaningful evidence of how this audit has helped or brought about a change. Um, you need to attend sufficient number of courses. Um, you have to have your ATLS, ACLS up to date. Um, and you do need to attend sufficient number of meetings and in surgical, for surgical candidates, you need to have ample uh, logbook evidence. Um, a recent uh, presentation by the GMC about six months ago in October 2018 uh, said some of the common reasons were not having sufficient 360 assessments or MSF, not having sufficient workplace-based assessments, and uh, not having reflective notes, which was a fairly new one, I thought. Audit still continues to be a popular reason as to why people fail, so uh, just be careful that you don't get caught out on this. So what can you do to make sure that your evidence stays up to date? Keep your evidence updated, especially within the last three years. If some of the index procedures you perform were more than three years ago, do try and attend or perform one of those procedures again and get a PBA and CBD on it you know, just to show that you are keeping in touch. Uh, an example was some of my pediatric procedures were done uh, four or five years ago. So off late, uh, prior to submitting my application, I went in and assisted and performed some pediatric cases and uh, submitted documentary evidence of them as well. Again, audits, I've already uh, been through it. Try and spread your audits out. Uh, teaching sessions, all of them, be sure to get feedback uh, from your attendees on it. Be very careful with the indicative numbers. Submit more than one uh, evidence, especially for the indicative numbers, preferably from different trainers. And as far as possible, try and make your application as complete as possible. So if your application is complete, then they, you can't give them a chance um, to fail you. Probably the most important bit of advice I can give is the goalposts keep changing frequently. And that's why you do need to be aware of the latest specialty guidelines because you need to know where your goalpost is and you need to aim accurately. So um, towards the last bit, what are some of the qualities that you need you know, to get through CSER on a personal level? And I don't mean this in a negative way, but having a bit of OCD actually helps. You need to check, you need to re-double check and then recheck your application. Um, 
if you do this and you cover all the areas where you think that they can fail you then and if all those areas get covered up quite amply and well uh, they simply can't get a reason to reject you. Angela Duckworth in a recent uh, article uh, she published uh, some of the qualities of grit which are needed and I can't think of another example where it's so um, so well required courage perseverance resilience and passion these are all qualities which will stand you in very good stead in your Caesar application remember if you want to rule Rome you need to beat Caesar Caesar is something which is it may be difficult but it's not impossible and it's definitely doable so don't give up keep persevering it will definitely happen I'll be very interested to know how you got on with your application. Please uh, keep me posted through your comments um, and I wish you good luck.